The fourth and final workout of the 2015 freaking CrossFit Throwdown will be four time. At the call of three, two, one, go. Each team will have 15 minutes to complete 60 pull-ups, 30 deficit synchronized handstand push-ups for the men, 15 for the women, 30 synchronized front and back squats, 3 60 foot zerker carries, and 30 power cleans. For the 60 pull-ups, the athletes must begin with the arms fully locked out and the rep is complete once the chin passes the plane of the bar. Moving on to the 30 synchronized handstand push-ups. The teammates must begin with the arms fully locked out. Their heads must make contact with the ab mat and the rep will be complete once both teammates are fully locked out with their heels on the wall. The teammates heads do not have to touch at the same time. The judge will not call a rep until both teammates have fully locked out at the same time. If at any time one teammate has locked out but the other fails, the third teammate can be tagged in and complete the other handstand push-up while the other teammate waits in the locked out position. Intermediate and novice athletes will perform med ball throws over the wall. One teammate must perform a full squat, then throw the med ball over the wall for the reps to count. One side of the wall will be designated for throwing, and only those reps will count. From the handstand push-ups, the team will perform 30 synchronized front and back squats. One teammate will do front squats while the other does the back squats. The athletes must begin fully locked out together, reach full depth together, and fully locked out together for the rep to count. Anything else will be a no rep. On to the Zerker carries. Each team will perform three Zerker carries, with one athlete going at one time. The athlete may only start moving the yoke once it is entirely off of the ground. The yoke must be fully past the cone in order to turn around and go back. Once the athlete begins surf carry, he or she must finish all 60 feet. Finally, for the 30 power cleans, the bar must begin from the ground for each rep and will count once the athlete has fully locked out the hips and knees with the elbows in front of the bar. Time will be called once the final clean is completed. Intermediate women and novice athletes will complete said pushes in place of the surf carry and novice athletes will complete burpees to a bar in place of the pull-ups.